Hey guys, I feel like you always just see me in pajamas, but um earlier I vlogged a little bit and I'm gonna be vlogging the next few days because they are gonna be filled with hospitals, which is honestly what I usually do. But I was trying to make my recent vlogs more fun, but you know, at the end of the day, I am usually in hospital. So um, earlier, I'll put in the footage now, I had breathing treatment to stop um, getting an pneumonia and it protect, protects my lungs and helps my lungs. And I also got my bloods taken, which is a regular thing. And they were all good except my white count is a little low, so um, my immune system isn't great at the moment. Um, so yeah, I will put in the footage in a second. Um, and other than that, I don't have much news. <laughs> Burned myself, if you're wondering what this is, just by putting something in the oven. <laughs> I'm a silly goose. But anyway, um, yeah, I'll put in the footage from earlier, and then the next footage will be tomorrow, which is St. Patrick's Day. my outfit this is the makeup I'm not that great at blending out like greens so I made the base of it like more orangey but you know I just thought I'd make an effort this is what I'm wearing this is what I'm wearing and um, it says I leprechaun even <laughs> and then these I was wearing a skirt but it kept going up so I just changed because I wanted to be comfy and then my Adidas and that's what I'm gonna wear if it gets a bit cold, but it's been fairly warm in Houston lately. I'll show you what Monica looks like. I'll bring you out to her. Are you ready? Oh, Monica looks really well. Hello. So Happy this is what Patrick's Monica day. looks like. St. Paddy's Day. <laughs> it's not Patty. That's what they all say in America. She day. has a lovely bow on and it's it fun. goes all glittery and scarf and she's all in white so yeah it's actually kind of a late start for us um it's about what time is it uh, nearly two i think but um my counts yesterday were a little low on the white cells so we decided to just wait till the evening and we're going out with our friend we're not really doing too much so yeah i thought i'd share today's devotional if you don't know what that is it's like um kind of like a bible but in more of a court quotation form i love jesus always or jesus calling by sarah young and today's one 
Oh my god, this is so embarrassing that I don't know the day. It's St. Patrick's Day. Okay. <laughs> okay, today's one is the 17th. And this is today's. So if you want to take a read to that one. I would really recommend a devotional if you're religious or anything. Oh, focus. If you're religious, I'm going to be baptised in a few months as a Christian Baptist. And I'm so excited for that. A lot of people don't know that I've been very religious. But now you do. And I'm going to bring it more into my channel just because it's something that obviously is a big part of my life. So yeah. Girl, you're in the vlog. What one did you get? Coffee. You got the coffee butter, man. You're in the vlog today. Oh, And there's Sharon. <laughs> I can't wait yet. <laughs> we're, we're in Steel City Pop. This is a cucumber line. And I'm with Monica and Sharon. Like, we actually we got green in St. Patrick's Day. Makeup, a little bit of lip balm on, and took my meds. This is my med box here. I took like all of these, and then these are for bed. And yeah, just reading a little bit through the last few months of my devotional. I like doing that sometimes, and I'll probably do some Bible study and also some editing. Uh, watch a few stuff. I just got off the phone. But yeah, I hope everyone had a good St. Patrick's Day and the next vlog will probably be in hospital for one of my appointments because I have a week full. Or actually tomorrow is church so I might vlog some of that. So yeah. Yeah, I'll answer the questions. Mm. Okay, so I didn't film any part of the church but we went earlier and um, tomorrow is like part hospital but it's only like one appointment so I'm going to be like filming the week of get leading up to the biopsies and going under for surgery and that's probably gonna be next vlog I feel like in this vlog I'm gonna just end it here by answering really frequently asked questions that I get asked all the time so I thought it'd be good to answer them there's just a few and they're very random they're not all like health related some of them you know I'll just read them out so a lot of people ask what is my go-to foundation and what is my go-to concealer and my go-to foundation at the moment is YSL, but in general, I really love the BB creams in like any uh, drugstore brand. Um, Maybelline do really good BB creams because they have some sunscreen in them, but also it's not like cake eating your face because when it's so hot, like in Texas, um, you just don't want anything too heavy. Um, I've been liking the Tarte, um, the Shape Tape Foundation um, and the one for the hydrating one, the one for dry skin. I think that's good, but it is a 
honestly it's a bit cakey it kind of clings to dry patches so i like bb cream the most at the moment and my go-to concealer is the nars creamy radiant concealer in vanilla um i do like the tarte shade tape i think like the concealer i think that it's good for eyeshadow bases but not my favorite and i really like the kylie cosmetics concealer so they're kind of my go-to's just wondering were you always a baptist or did you decide you like that religion when you moved to texas well when i moved to texas we started going to church it was like a way of meeting people and then over time i did develop a faith and i'm going to be baptized in a few months so i was well i'm catholic right now but i'm going to be changing to um a christian baptist very soon so if you want me to do like more videos on that or anything um a whole video on it let me know um another question is will your treatment affect your fertility and um with the tumor in my brain that all already kind of affected my fertility because the um hormones that are supposed to be sending to like my ovaries and everything like that to give me periods is off like it's completely kind of ruined um and it's kind of covered by the tumor so it's like dead it's a dead hormone so i have to take like hormone replacements for that um so that affected my fertility and then of course chemo really affected my fertility so i have no idea if i could ever have a child of my own i've kind of accepted the fact that i might be fully infertile unless like scientists make something amazing in the next 10 years i'm infertile but um i really want to adopt anyway so kind of got over that like a year ago <laughs> um and then another one is do i get my periods um well the pill is my hormone replacement and basically i take the pill with two of the hormones that needed to give a period and so i basically take it for three months the, like the pill and they don't go off it and then i can have a period or else um i'll have a breakthrough period but i can only get a period by taking meds to force a period if you get me if i didn't take the meds like i'm off them right now then i can't get a period on my own um so yeah um what has been the ma your main source of motivation throughout the whole experience of cancer and being so far away from home um honestly the church i love the church and also the friends that i made um and honestly you know youtube is big kind of therapy for me as well so it's really really hard honestly being away from home at times it just it can be consuming but at the end of the day i'm here for you know the best treatment the best doctors and i couldn't be luckier honestly so that helps me stay positive um another one since your hair started growing back have you noticed a change in the texture of your hair like is it curlier or straight or drier or oilier um since my hair grew back it's definitely different it's a lot thinner but um, over time it's gonna thicken and it, since it's so thin it can get oily so fast like I only washed this last night and from the sun it's already a bit oily but I put a lot of like different oils in it at night to protect it and help it grow um, but I do have to like wash it every single day and the texture um, it would be a lot I guess thinner and it can get really curly I used to have like dead straight hair and it's also a little bit lighter than my natural hair my natural hair used to be a really dark brown and this is like on camera it's not really showing but it's actually a little bit lighter than it was uh, before chemo um have you ever thought about or do you ever think about to try alternative medicine during times when medicine was making you really sick um no like my doctors know what's best for me here and you know if they were to tell me that i had no options left i would definitely try like stuff like reiki and stuff like that um one alternative i guess that we added in with chemo and other meds was cannabis and that was like um tablets called marinol when i did not do well on those tablets like i passed out i got very dizzy um we lowered the milligrams to like literally 2.5 and I was still having those symptoms or I'd sleep and like not be able to wake up 
or like open my eyes and I'd fall and it was just a disaster so that was the one thing we added in that I guess is more natural and did not work for me um do you think you'll be moving back to Ireland anytime soon no we thought we would have been back already and um, we thought this would all be a year but at the end of the day it, the medication and the chemo is a trial so I am a trial patient and we can't really detect when everything's gonna work so we don't know how long we're gonna be here but we expect it's gonna be quite a long trip <laughs> um, a lot longer than we would have thought okay um I want to ask you if you tried mental healing stuff with hypnosis self-healing etc again no um i don't really know what that would do for my illness um i guess for men mental stuff um i don't know like i i have done hypnosis before um but i've just kind of self-healed on my own um with and obviously having a bit huge support system helps a lot um so yeah um if you had to get a matching tattoo with of the with someone what would you get um probably wouldn't ever get a matching tattoo uh but i don't know maybe it was a tattoo i really wanted and uh, my friend or someone in my family really wanted it and we decided to match the tattoo maybe that i do that but i don't even know if i want tattoos like i love tattoos it's just I don't know if I would get one. I don't know. I'm undecided, but I do love tattoos. I just don't know if I get myself. And then the last question is, how's your treatment going? And it's like it. I'm off treatment to get surgery on Friday for the biopsies, and then I don't know how long I'll be off chemo then because I need to get like results. But. Um, the treatment has definitely worked on some areas it's just like areas like my colon and stuff it hasn't been the best for so yeah I don't have much of an update um, so yeah there are like questions that a lot of people ask all the time so I thought I would answer them in the end of this vlog and the next vlog will probably be more hospital stuff um, but yeah I will see you very soon and I hope you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you liked it we're nearly at 5,000 which is crazy so thank you so 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 much and I'll see you very soon bye